Good day, welcome, and cilantro. Um, this evening, I'm going to be servicing this Harley Davidson. It's a 99 Fat Boy. But if you're ordering parts running, it's uh, the twin cam model, so it's classed as a 2000 to 2005 model engine. Uh, normally when I buy parts for this, I just go into my local Harley Davidson shop with the VIN number and just get a service kit out of there. I'm by no means a mechanic or anything, I just like dicking around in the shade, so the way I do it might not 100% be right or the way you would do it, but for any new guy that wants to try it himself, hopefully this will help you and uh, give you some idea of what to do. So. The first thing I'm going to do is start by draining the oil out of the oil tank here. The drain plug for this oil tank is, if you can see in the mirror here, it is right here inside the frame. So I'm going to start by taking that out and draining the oil out of the oil tank. So while we're waiting for the oil to drain out of the bag, this is a good time to check your bung. So this is a magnet on the top. It's good to check if you have any filings on it. It could be an indication of a bigger problem that you might have. But it's also a good idea to change out this O-ring. So make sure you just check that and do that. So oil went off. You went on. Pretty simple. So now it comes time to change the oil filter, which is in here. I've opted for, I'm going to give it a try. I've never done it this way before now, but I've cut a bottle, which I'll slip in there like that and hopefully catch the runoff oil. It's always pretty messy. It's, it's, there's many different ways people try it, but you'll never find a way that doesn't not create mess. And I've got a oil filter tip from Harley Davidson, so it's good for loosening or cracking the seal. So I'm not going to video the change of this because it's just too hard to get an angle on it. But I will then top up the new oil filter and then the seal on this here. You want to rub a bit of oil around that, and then just remember not these don't need to go on dead dead tight. They just need to go on like good hand strength tight not too tight you want to get it off again in the future so i'll check back in after i change this show you how it went so as you may see here i cut the oil filter and a good chunk of the oil but it wasn't without its uh mess so tip of the day before you start putting the oil filter on or filling this back up full of oil is put the bung back in the bottom with your new seal. The reason I'm saying this is like a dumbass, I didn't do that. So I've just 
fucking got oil everywhere. But what I do now is I've got the oil filter on. I've filled it up. I've put oil around the seal. It's back on. It's tightened up. I've now put the bung back in. And I will fill this back up full of oil. I normally just fill it to this weld mark here, just below that. And then after that, you can start doing your dip test and seeing how much more you need. So now that we've got the oil changed, uh, what the fuck? So now we're gonna move on to the transmission oil. So if you look here in the mirror, I don't know where you can see it or if you can see it at all, but there is a bung just up in there. We're gonna start by taking that out. So now I've got all the oil drained out of the chani. I've put the bung back in this time, so hopefully I won't have oil everywhere. If you can see here, we've got a dipstick. So we take that out. And we just pour the new oil in there. So now it's time to change the oil in the primer case. We have a bung down here underneath it, here, that will take out the drains of oil. I'll then take the cover off to refill the oil and we'll put a new gasket on as well. My bike is slightly different, so this is a gasket I'll be putting on because I have a lock up clutch, so I have to get a different gasket. But also, while I'm taking this and while I've got the oil out of it, I've also got a small leak on my primary case, so I'm actually gonna take the full primary case off as well and put a new gasket on the primary case. So this is what it looks like with the uh, primary cover off. As I said earlier, I'm gonna put a new gasket on, that's the way of taking it off. But what I find a bit concerning is half the screws in the primary case weren't even hand tight. So it just goes to show that you should always probably put your hands in your bike and check over stuff. Um, I've never had the primary case off this bike before. I have this bike a little over a year. It's the first time I've ever messed around with this. So, um, I might need to check a few more things. And freeze, don't know this here, is the lockup clutch. And this is um, why I need the special gasket. So I've got the primary case back on with a new gasket of all the bolts back in. That turned out to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's done now. So now to add the oil in, I'll just pour it in through here. And then I will put the gasket on and then I'll put the derby cover back on then. And that should be it nearly fully finished. Well, that will be it fully finished then. Service done. So that's it. Um, the bike's back on the ground, service complete. We've changed the, the three oils. I also changed the gasket on the primary cover and I put new spark plugs in it. Um, as I said before, I'm just someone who likes sticking around in the shed and by no means am I a mechanic or a Harley expert or anything. As I said before, this is my uh, first ever Harley. So uh, this is just the way I service it. It mightn't be for everybody. It mightn't be the correct way to do it, but any of you guys that are trying for the first time, I hope this video helps. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.